Welcome to 3 Minute Pro. The Epson V600 is a reasonably priced flatbed scanner that you can use to digitise your 35mm and medium format film. Here it is, connected to a power supply and also to my laptop. Start by removing the document mat. This is only there for scanning prints or documents. Carefully place your negatives into the film holder. Make sure that you use a blower brush to remove dust from the negatives on both sides. Dust all the glass areas of the scanner using the blower brush. Now place the negative holder into the scanner as shown. Now, go to your computer and open up the Epson Scan application. You can see there are a lot of settings here and I'm going to go through them one by one. Firstly, you choose the document type. In this case, it's film. Next, you choose the film type and right now I'm scanning black and white negative film. Here are the settings that I use to get a really good quality scan. The higher the resolution you set, the longer it will take to scan. There are several settings you can use for adjustments for the scan. I prefer to do most of the adjustment afterwards in Lightroom. The two settings that I use are the Unsharp Mask and the Digital Ice technology. Digital Ice is an Epson technology that scans the negative for dust and then removes it. Now click on Preview. The scanner will perform a low-res scan to provide you with a thumbnail showing what's going to be scanned. You can see an example of the thumbnails here. Before you make the high resolution scan, click the All button. That will make sure that all of the negatives you're scanning have the same adjustments applied to them. Click the Scan button. Choose where you're going to store the output files and what format and the naming. The progress bar comes up and initially it shows it's going to be a very long time, in this case 67 minutes. It's never usually that long, it's usually about 24 minutes. After the scans have been completed and the files are saved to the folder that you chose, you can then edit the files in whichever software you choose to use. I prefer Lightroom for this. The Epson scanner is a good value flatbed scanner. It produces reasonably good quality scans for a very good price. Thank you. If you found this useful, please subscribe.